Hello and welcome. In my previous two videos, I used a time delay subroutine to blink an LED. Now in this video, I will explain how a time delay routine works. So let's first start off with defining what a subroutine is. A subroutine is a sequence of instruction that is uh, written just once but executed when needed by the main program. Uh, what do I mean by this? Let's take a look at the illustration here. Uh, let's imagine this is my main program. There are several instructions in my main program and in between I have this A call delay. This will invoke a call the delay and when this is executed it will call the delay the control of the program would then be handed over to the subroutine so here in the delay subroutine there are several instructions the last instruction of a subroutine is the RET instruction which stands for return and this instruction here will return the control of the uh, program execution back to the main program and that's basically how the subroutine works okay so here I repeated the um, uh, program that I've used to uh, or the code that I've used to blink an LED um, here is my subroutine so basically the, uh, pro the code starts at 000. This instruction here will clear uh, port 1, bit 0 or P1.0 to a logic 0 that switch on the LED. An A call here, delay would call this delay. And when this is done, it will go back to the main program this one will turn the LED off because this set P1.0 here will set it to the logic 1 that will turn the LED off then after that it will call the delay again once it's done it returns back to this part of the main program which will return it back to this portion of the code and the whole thing repeats itself now I would like to examine this delay routine here so what I've done here is I repeated the code but I made some minor changes I've used a smaller value here for the uh, counter another I've changed the value here again and another thing that I have uh, modified is instead of using RET I've used an N because I'm going to show you a demonstration later which I would execute this as a, a standalone program so uh, very quickly so this uh, register 0 is a is counter 1 and R1 is counter 2 so R1 is represent counter 2 R0 represent counter 1 and this instruction here uh, is DJNZ that is decrement the contents of the register and check if it's zero if it's not zero you jump okay so let let's take a look at this part here but before we uh, go into this part let's look at these two instruction here basically that would uh, copy this value into R0 which is counter 1 and copy uh, the value 0 to H remember these are all in hexa into re uh, register R1 which is counter 2 so when we come to this instruction it will say decrement the contents of register R1 and then if it's not 0 you jump jump to where basically it jumps back here so it will stay here doing this decrement until R1 gets to 0 when that happens it will come down to this instruction here again it will decrement the contents of register 0 alright 
and if it's not zero you jump this time it will jump back here reloads r1 again with uh, this value goes through this and this will repeat until r0 is uh, is equal to zero and that will end now in the subroutine this will be ret all right so let's take a look at the demonstration okay so we're back in the ad sim r51 uh, simulator let me just load the program up up uh, here we go okay and let me assemble it and um, i'm going to execute this program one step at a time uh, to do that i'm going to use this step function let me just so the step function here will allow me to execute the uh, instructions here one at a time let me zoom out okay so the program is assembled uh, so the first instruction here r0 uh, hash uh, 03h so that will copy this value into r0 we should see the value appearing here okay so it did so let me just zoom in so that we can see this so r0 r0 register r0 now has the value 03 h remember a 0x here denote, denotes that this is a hex value now, let me just zoom out okay so the next instruction here will copy uh, the value 0h or 0 so sorry 0 2 hexa or 0 2 h into register r1 so watch r1 here there we are so we have r2 hexa in r1 now the next instruction here will decrement uh, register r1 and ask the question is it zero if it's not zero go back and decrement because it says jump here right it decrement r1 if it's not zero jump here which is here so it repeats itself until r1 becomes zero so watch our r1 so let me just step it so we decrement it by one yep so it's now one is it zero no so jump here watch r1 and this time it's zero so if it's zero it would come down to this instruction and it would decrement uh, register zero and ask the question it is is it zero yet no uh, jump the jump where it jumps back here which will reload or reset r1 to 0 to h so uh, watch this part here okay so it's going to two it's not zero it's not zero go back here redo this part here just watch r1 because it's going to reload it with zero to h yep it goes to zero to h then it goes it jumps here until it becomes zero so i'm going to just step it through it's one zero goes down here ask the question uh, decrement it by one watch this part here is it zero no go back and do it again which means reload r1 with uh, zero two again so watch this part here yep so it's got zero two so it's going to decrement until it becomes zero So zero it comes down here 
ask the quest decrement it uh, by one watch this bit it's zero this time so it's done the whole lot and that's it that's the end of it okay let's go over the uh, time delay subroutine again one more time but this time we're going to look examine the time delay subroutine using a flow chart so uh, this is the entrance to the flow chart and I'm setting counter 1 using R0 we set counter 2 using R1 so in R, in counter 1 or R0 I have the value uh, 0 3 hexa and in counter 2 I have 0 2 hexa in counter 2 which is R1 now the next uh, instruction is to decrement the counter 2 by 1 this is carried out by DJ and Z R1 and is counter 2 0 no repeat it so we do this until counter 2 or in this case R1 is 0 once it's 0 it drops out of this loop here comes down to this one decrement counter 1 which is R0 uh, take one away is it zero no then go back reset uh, R1 with zero to H hexa and then it is repeated until uh, counted two is zero it comes out decrement count to one again is it zero no go back uh, reset count to 2 with 0 2 and then it goes around this loop again and then once it's done decrement count to 1 is it 0 if it's yes it would then exit the loop uh, this would be the RET instruction here okay so let's summarize so when a subroutine is called the control is transferred to that subroutine uh, the processor saves the program counter on the stack uh, don't worry about this part here I will ex like I said uh, in my beginning of my video I would talk about this in more detail la later on then instructions are fetched from the new location which is your subroutine and when the subroutine is done RET return uh, transfer the control back to the caller in this case in our case is the main program and finally every subroutine needs an RET as the last instruction okay so that's it for the uh, explanation of the time delay um, thank you for watching uh, see you in next video bye